Hi all, this is another video on my Queen memorabilia. As you can see, I'm focusing on Brian May and some of the CD singles that he's produced over the years. First one is Driven By You. That was released, I think it was 25th of November 91. It was essentially an advert to begin with, which he'd be um, done for Ford Car, and it was on an advert quite a long time on the British TV. Did very, very well, and the fans wanted it as a proper single, which he duly obliged. And then, apparently, Freddie told him to release it when he died, so he'd get more sales. Don't know how true that is, but that's the room that's gone round. Excellent single, though. There we go, that's on the back. Just One Life instrumental is really nice as well. Just One Life with him singing is not too bad as well. That's the single cassette. Just got Just One Life on there. Next one's Too Much Love Will Kill You. Same again, it's the cassette singles. That's the other tracks. That was released in August 92. Next one's Back to the Light. This was done as a double pack, released as sort of a, a, the basic single version one week, like this, but we've got a double thing in now. The second bit was released the next week. It's got the Starfleet project on there. If you've not heard it, then do so. It's got um, Van Halen on there as well. That was, I'm trying to release when that was released. Uh, that was November. 92. Then we've got Resurrection, I think it was June 93. Same again, it's got different tracks. This is a double CD. I'm going a bit quick, then just pause it. It's got double, double CDs in there. Then the next one's Last Horizon. Obviously a single tape there. That was done on December 93. Come in this 3D pop-up case. As you can see. That's the other tracks on there. That one's sealed up. Obviously it's quite cheap at the time, 249. And then we've got the amazing Spider-Man on here. That was done for a radio show. I think it's a BBC radio and Brian did the tracks for it. That's the other things on there. I hope the video can pick that up. It's quite a good CD. It's a bit corny, but it's uh, Brian at his best with his playing. Carmen a piece's guitar Zeus. Now this one was an oddity. I was walking through a record shop and I just spotted it. And I decided I would buy it because I'd not seen it. I didn't know anything about it. Only to find out later on it was withdrawn because it wasn't supposed to have been released. Something to do with contracts, I'm not quite sure, but it's actually quite a rare CD. Been released later on on an album officially and properly, so you can pick it up, but this is quite a rare CD. But it can be picked up. No, it's, it's not ultra rare, but it's, it's rare enough. I think it was released in 95. That is actually quite a good track. Then we've got Why Don't We Try Again? I think it was August 98. And this is the poster that came with it. Only make believe an FBI on there. FBI is really good actually. It's a, it's a cover of a Shadows track. It's worth a listen on YouTube. Then we've got Brian May with the business. Um, that one was obviously a dedication to Cozy Powell, who sadly died in a car accident. I saw him play live with Brian at the um, Royal Albert Hall. He was fantastic. Um, yeah, it's a shame that this chap died. Um, 
that was released in I think it was May 98 then again if I'm wrong on any of these just put in the comments below then we've got Robbie Williams Eternity a lot of people don't know Brian's played on this but I picked it up simply because he is on it I think that was July 2001 I've also got the single tape for that and then we've got Cliff Richard Move It I think the rumour for this was that Cliff released this because at the time there was a law that after 50 years they'd lose the rights to their music. So he did release it again, redone, so he wouldn't lose the rights. But I think that's been changed since then, the, the laws on that. Not a bad track as well. Um, oh, that was released in 2006, I do believe. And then there's this bandaged single which was uh, All You Need Is Love which was done by the BBC and everything uh, I think that was done in 2009 I could be wrong on that again but there we go so some of the things you can pick up a lot of it is quite easy to pick up so it's good for the collection just to build up and there are some different tracks and you won't hear on the albums so if you're interested all well and good if not then uh, don't know what you're watching the video for <laughs> okay anyway catch you again bye